What's up, LNT fam? Welcome back to another video. Rebuilding 2022 Alfa Romeo. We got this car from a salvage auction with a left side collision. If you guys haven't seen part one, I'll put a link in description so you guys can check it out and be up to date. I was buying the car, picking it up, and I got this car with no keys, so I had a little headache programming the key and getting the car up to the running condition but we finally did everything so the car runs in drive and we're ready to start rebuilding so in this video i already got all the parts i got a brand new two doors and a rocker panel so we'll be replacing everything so it should be a fairly easy job for the most part so let's pull the car inside and start working And I forgot to mention the most important. If you guys are new to this channel and you guys enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe and turn your bell notification because we post new videos every week, new week, new video. And don't forget to like this video as well. And now let's get to work. I got the Alfa Romeo inside of the shop, so now we could start working. Man, I've been reading a lot of comments. You guys have been roasting me with that. Your Alfa Romeo is here. Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. For the Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. I guess I got too much going on in my head, and sometimes I make up my own words. Or the dyslexia gets the best of me. But anyways, I appreciate all the comments and support. You guys are awesome. You guys made me laugh really hard. So anyways, let's uh, start working on this beauty and we'll go from there. So far, I got pretty much half of the car. <laughs> and actually, it wasn't even that expensive. I was shocked how cheap it was. Doors were thousand bucks each and the quarter was 500. Ching ching! 2500 bucks and we pretty much got the whole side. So let's start removing everything and start replacing. So first things first, we're gonna start off by uh, taking the doors apart. Cause anyways, we're gonna be switching everything to the new doors. We're gonna start with the driver's door and most likely we got a couple bolts up here. And then one right here. So we'll remove this bolt and we'll remove this cover as well. Usually there's always gonna be a bolt somewhere by the door handle. So that's why you kinda have to look around. And most likely if you see a molding like this or a cover, there's hidden bolts. And then same thing, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Boom, and it just comes up. Yep, and three bolts. I said two, but there's three, so. Next, we gotta remove this so I could disconnect it and maybe there is a screw because everything still is pretty solid. So I think there is a hitting screw somewhere. Oh yeah, right there. I knew it. Because usually when you remove the four bolts, the door panel is starting to like move around and be loose, but this one was sitting tight. And now I know why. You guys see that bolt over there? Oh yeah, see how it moves now?
I just removed both of the doors, so now we could start cutting out the panel. Let's take a closer look. And this is the damage, pretty much this is where it got pushed in. So we'll do a clean section right here and over here. Don't get me wrong, this is repairable, but it's gonna take a lot of work and lots of body filler. And plus it has a bunch of little holes for the molding to clip in, so. Definitely not gonna be fun, so that's why I decided to just do a replacement on this piece. So I got a quick question for you guys. If this was your car and you had the whole panel, would you replace the whole entire panel, how they sell it, or would you do a section how I'm gonna do it? Please drop a comment, would love to hear your feedback on this one. But for now, let's start cutting and replacing. So up here, I'm thinking this is the nice and flat surface so we're gonna do a section here we're gonna be like something like this and over here we'll just do a clean cut right here and we'll do a cut right here in the front So right now I'll start cleaning all this uh, silicone caulking so I could get you the spot welds. So we could drill them out or grind them out. Most likely I'll grind them out. And same over here. So once we're done, we'll use the spot welder machine and just re-weld it and it's gonna be as good as new. Safety goggles check, gloves check. And now let's get to work. cleaned everything up so now I could see my uh, spot welds so now I just gotta grind them out up here up here up here and then cut 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 yeah buddy let's do this I just marked my new quarter panel slash rocker panel, so I'm ready to start cutting. This is what it looks like, so I'll do a nice cut up here, up here, and up here, and we'll just use this section. I cut my panel out, so now we're ready to start test fitting. And this is what it looks like. Nice, clean panel. And I already pulled my pouch. This is where we're gonna connect the rocker panels together, right here, right here, and over here. So now we could start test fitting everything. And then we'll install the doors, see how everything lines up. And everything is good. We could start securing the rocker panel completely. Check it out. 
Well, fits like a glove. Everything looking good. And we still got a quarter left. You know what that means. It looks like we're gonna have to buy another one with a quarter panel damage and maybe the rear door. So I guess we're gonna have another coming up eventually. I'll be keeping my eyes open. So now I could install both of my doors and see how everything looks. Boom, boom, perfect fit. Boom, look at this. I installed the door handle and the lock, so everything locks, no problem. Gaps are perfect, nothing sticking out. Same over here, everything is flush. The door closes and everything is perfect up here as well so now we could start securing this rocker panel so for now i'll remove both of the doors so nothing in my way and we'll start welding and we'll use the just the regular welder first to weld the seams together and then we'll do the spot weld for the final let's do it Before I secure the panel completely, I put welding primer, so this way we're not gonna have any rust later on. So now we could install it and start welding. I'm all set up, so now we could start welding with the spot weld machine. And I think that's like one of my favorite machines to weld with. So satisfying to see that. Choo -choo. Factory weld, baby, let's go. I'm all finished with welding, so next uh, we could apply body filler. And we're officially finished with body work, man. <laughs> it's a good feeling, let's check it out. Boom, what happened? Nothing happened. It looks perfect. And I also had a thing right here and right here, so I fixed everything. And now we're ready for primer. Primer and paint, almost at the finish line. Alpha Romero is primered and ready for paint. We'll start the painting process. We got the Alfa Romeo in the spray boot, prepped, masked, and ready to go. Andre's gonna do his magic once again, and it's gonna look very nice. And tomorrow we could start putting it back together. And we got the doors. I'm excited, let's do this.
Alfa Romeo is painted and ready to go. Came out very nice. Do you like? I like. So now we could start putting it back together. But sheesh, came out perfect. We'll put the doors together, put the rest of the interior together and get this car ready for wash, detail and delivery. Alfa Romeo. I got it, I got it, but it kind of sounds cooler. Alfa Romero. <laughs> but anyways, who cares what the name is? As long as it's Alfa. The Italian, beautiful car. <laughs> All right, let's pull this bad boy out and start putting it back together. We got the Alfa Romeo out of the spray boot and it's looking good. Perfect color match. Let's check it out. Boom, look at this. Everything matching up perfect to the hood and fender and bumper. And the whole side is painted as well. Perfect match with the bumper. So for now, we'll end the video here. Stay tuned for part three. That's going to be the last one. We'll put everything back together. Pretty much get this car ready for wash, detail, and it's ready to go. So thank you guys once again for watching. If you guys are new to this channel and you guys enjoy this kind of content, you know what to do. Subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. And I'll catch you guys in part three. Do svidaniya!